Now in question number 122, which of the following scientists discovered transformation? Now transformation is absorption of or picking up of DNA segment from the surrounding by a living bacterium. Yes, this was first discovered by the scientist Griffith by using the bacteria Streptococcus. Now, Mizelson and Stahl, he has given semi-conservative, he has proved semi-conservative model of DNA replication. Hershey and Chase, he has proved DNA as genetic material in the viruses. Watson and Crick, he has given three-dimensional structure of DNA. So now question number 123. Now question number 123. Fruit color in summer squash. This is an example of dominant epistasis. In epistasis, one gene masks the effect of other gene. Right? So one gene suppresses the effect of other gene. And the gene which is suppressing here, if it is a dominant one, then you call it as dominant epistasis. Fine? Now, fruit color in summer squash, scientific name for that is cooker bitter papo. It is controlled by two genes, right? Dominant W gene. It is responsible for white color of the fruit. Dominant Y gene is responsible for yellow color of fruit. If the Y gene is present in recessive form, then it is responsible for green color of the fruit. Right? If dominant W gene it is present along with the dominant Y gene or recessive Y gene. It will mask the effect of dominant and recessive allele, right? It will mask the effect of both these allele. It means there will not be formation of yellow color. There will not be formation of green color. So what color of fruit is produced that is white color? So here W gene, dominant W gene is masking the effect of this gene. So dominant gene is masking the effect. So you call it as dominant epistasis. So now question number 124. Question number 124, viruses. You know viruses, they have two main components. One is nucleic acid and another one is protein. Fine. The nucleic acid which is present, that can be DNA or RNA. In no two viruses, DNA, in the viruses, DNA and RNA, they cannot be present together. Right. So the fourth option, it is omitted because DNA and RNA together, they cannot be present in the viruses. Fine. You know viruses, they are at the borderline of living and non-living. So we cannot say they are prokaryotes and uh, nucleus presence, prokaryotic nucleus presence is absent. Then the best option here is they have DNA enclosed in a protein coat and you know that protein coat is known as capsid. So for question number 124, the right option is option number 1. So now let's see question number 125. 